block up to my feet, hurt the slayer, yeah, yeah. better yeah. off work to the good, I'm bad, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. took a ride in the L, L, come on, man, yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. took a hold down, where to kill me. Let's talk about this gator, man. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> we got to talk about this gator, man. Yeah, so, man, I, gator man. So, what it was like meeting gator man? So, the first time I met him, uh-huh. uh, I pulled up to his studio, and um, he came in in a big-ass truck. It was a lifted truck. Yeah. I was like, oh, shit, that must be him. He got <laughs> out, man. That, that boy tall as, as fuck, man. I was like, man, he's taller than me. And I looked up to him. I was like, what's up, Gator? He was like, oh, what's up, man? He, you know, he was cool, you know what I mean? And we, we went inside, and we, we were in the studio, you know, and I was pretty much showcasing him, um, my music, the stuff I made, and he was very, like, real, you know what I mean? He, he kept he kept it real, and, and it was the first time I ever met, uh, I guess you can say, a local celebrity. Right, You know right. what I mean? An uh, artist. Right. And um, it was cool. He gave me some feedback, mm. uh, and he actually told me he wanted me to be his, like, uh, head producer, executive producer there at the studio. Right. But at the time I was living in Houston and uh I told him that, you know, I would have to like move back in town to be able to do that, but I was down and stuff. So, um so yeah, like around that time I ended up uh moving back and, you know, thing things the he I guess he already filled the position, but you know, it all worked out at the end cuz I ended up, you know, um being more involved with with the with the circle right. and doing tracks with with everybody. Right here, you know what I mean. So right, but so, it was cool. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Boy, good experience. I, I tell man. you, what, you got up on that, that gator belt. I tell you, that, yeah. you know, but the belt you wanted is good too. Everything at Dallas solid. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But just they, they, they gator co-sign. But that boy beast. Yeah, I tell you, hands down, that boy beast. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, I grew up uh, listening to a little bit of Gator. Like, yeah, I just yeah. never thought I'd ever meet him. In, right. You know what I mean, so that was that was that cool. Was, experience. Was, who who you grew up listening to in Dallas? Uh, I grew up listening to like Trap Boy Freddy, Trap Boy Freddy, Yella Beezy. Uh huh. Um, who else? Um, surprisingly, I I heard uh Froze track without even realizing it. Um, bump this in your Cadillac. Yeah. Yeah. Some so you music. working with a guy you didn't even know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lil Will. Grew up listening to to Lil Will. Um, okay. Who else? Um, what's that one song? Walk around the club. Fuck everybody. Yeah, yeah girl. Oh, can't man. Can't see, can't talk. Man, I had some nights. I, mean, I had some stories uh, of that song. Yeah, yeah. Prince Lee and uh, Trill Lee. Trill Lee. Yeah, Trill Lee. Yeah, yeah, Trill Lee yeah, a lot Prince of Dallas Ray. artists. Uh, Young Nation. Yeah, yeah you know? Young Nation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that was the good old days right yeah. there. Young yeah, Nation. Young Nation. Yeah, they say, hey, they brought, what was that, Yums or whatever? They brought that. They, they brought light on that right there. Mm-hmm. But they still doing, they had did a retirement album. Or something like that. They were talking about they were giving it up, but then they still doing it though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to Young Nation. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Shout out to everybody who you missed. And so how yeah. the hell you link up with Froze only, and then don't even know that Froze only? <laughs> man, uh, through Squeeze, man. Shout out okay, Squeeze, for, Squeeze for being okay. the plug. You know what I mean? And, and, okay. And, and introducing me to Froze. Yeah. I remember one day he was at uh, the studio, and and I pulled up, and they were both outside standing, and I was just like, oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, "Who's this guy?" And then Squeeze was like, "Man, I want you to meet my my cousin, uh, Froze." And then you know, I was like, "What's up?" And Froze just dabbed me up and right. like, hey, "What's up?" You know, and and Squeeze talks about uh, highly of me to everybody because I'm the only I'm the only uh, Mexican in the circle, you know. Yeah. What I mean? <laughs> so so he likes to he, he likes to type. Talk well, about shit, because you got some tight beats. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You DJing, you got yeah. your head on straight. You know what I'm saying? Like you come from a nice. You know what I'm saying? Family oriented background. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you know where you're trying to go. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And like in everybody's circle, they need somebody who got structure. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And without structure, you know what I'm saying, and your foundation and shit, you pretty much you crumbling. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Are you are you barely struggling trying to get it? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, man, shout out to T Squeeze. How y'all two meet? Uh so I met uh, squeeze in college, uh, I was taking, uh, so after high school, I went to Cedar Valley College, right. and I was p- pursuing the music, you know, trying to further my 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 knowledge and, and, and my career and, and just what I knew, so I uh, took some b- music business class, and, and I met Squeeze there at, at the music business class, okay. so so we uh, we just, you know, linked up, and at first, I, I didn't really know what to think about Squeeze, you know what I'm saying? I thought, I thought Squeeze was just, you know... Like like everybody else, but then um, I really got introduced 
to squeeze um, through my friend DA, man. RIP DA. Shout out to DA. Oh, yeah, rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so, yeah, DA introduced me to him. Um, Cause him and Squeeze, they were both from uh, Louisiana, you know. Hold so on. they were they were close, they were tight. <laughs> and um, and then one day we were like smoking in the parking lot, and then Squeeze came up, and you know Squeeze is always about the green. So right, right. <clears throat> yeah, we got the green from him, and you know one thing led to another. We had a conversation like, what are we trying to do? Yeah, Squeeze. Got that CBD from that nigga. You know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Squeeze Squeeze was rap rapping at the time. And I was producing. I was like, man, I need I need artists. You know what I mean? Squeeze was like, I need a producer. And, and we just ended up, you know, working together. Right. Um, <laughs> and everything just been downhill ever since. So what track you do for Rifleman? Uh, we got a couple tracks. Uh, we got uh, This What I Do uh, with him and Squeeze on it. Uh-huh. Um, we were coming out with a new song, Shake. Um, you know, be available on all streaming platforms. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. Um, what else? Uh we did uh we did a collab with uh, a Latin artist, uh Polo Polo Rapero, you know that's how you say his name. I don't know. Polo man. the rapper. Yeah, Polo the rapper. That's yeah. how you say. Like, how, to, how you say it again? Polo el rapero. Polo the rapero. Polo el rapero. Rapero. Polo el rapero. El rapero. Yeah. <laughs> Polo the rapper. He uh he's a big el uh, rapero. <laughs> You're getting there. You got to practice a little bit more. Ah, <laughs> nigga, that's that. Nigga, boy, that's that. Boy, that's that. Boy, that's that. Down and shit, nigga. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Paul. Man, man, shoot. Yeah, shout out, man. Two times, man. Yeah, you know. The rapper, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah the I, rapper. I said it, did it. Yeah. yeah, I got it that time, did it. <laughs> got me fucked up, nigga. Who the fuck you think this is? <laughs> Oh, you're a fool. Oh, man, this bitch better go viral, nigga. Y'all yeah, better. Playing with me on YouTube, man. Y'all better, y'all better stop playing with me, man. I'm coming for all y'all, man. I'm coming for all y'all on YouTube. <laughs> hey, hey, Bobo Luciano. I'm coming through. I'm coming through. Bobo, Bobo. I'm coming through that. <laughs> Shout out my nigga Super Tight. You know what I'm saying, Bobo? That's my nigga. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Boss Talk one on one. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> you and Jamaica over there, man. Y'all doing y'all thing, man. I'm coming through. I'm coming through. I'm coming through, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to all the podcasts and, and, and you know yeah, what I'm saying? Shout out to all the podcasts. Man, shout out thing. to every last one of them, man. I love my city, man. Yeah, We're going to turn it up. You know what I'm saying? Turn it up. You know yep. what I'm saying? Like, man, man, like, man, I'm a fool. I'm a fool. Man, Twisted Black, I'm a fool with it. I'm a fool with <laughs> yeah. it. Man, I'm a smoke my week. No, yeah, well, hold on. <laughs> yeah, Twisted Black, boy. So. Okay, black and blue cell phone hookup. A ver. See how you work. Hello? I want $40 worth of smoke. What? Coño, que mierda este pinche teléfono. Of course I do. I've been getting from you for weeks. You mean you ain't got... What? I can't hear shit. Who? Phone's all fucked up. What? You got any reason? Who is this? Who the hell you think I am? I don't know you. I've been getting it for you for the long, and you better get me some smoke, man. I'm not calling you. Don't you talk to me if you ain't got no reefer, man. Oh, yeah? Well, fuck you. Well, fuck you, too. Eat shit, too. I got a dial phone. I got a push automatic dial. <laughs> 